hi viewers welcome to ganesh youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to explain you how to create assembly drawing in tecla structures just like this okay let's start open your tecla structures with us environment before going to create assembly drawing we need to create columns and beams and connections so click on steel and select this column and click on here to place the column and click on here to place another column and click on escape to exit the command now we're going to create beam at the middle of this column two columns so click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point at the middle of this column and pick the second point at the middle of this second column click on escape to exit the command now we're going to create a connection between column to beam so go to application components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here in such bar type number 144 connection select this connection component and plate 144 and close this window and pick the main part as a column and pick the second part as a beam by default you will get this connection like this now click on escape to exit the command now click on space right click on mouse redraw use the shortcut ctrl r and pick the rotation point and you can rotate with the left mouse key like this okay now we're going to edit this connection so double click on this connection click on this bolt step let's take bolt size here 3 by 4 inch and now we're going to change the number of bolts in the lengthwise you can see this is the lengthwise connection this one and now let's take edge distance to inches and number of bolts in horizontal direction let's take five and the spacing let's take four inch let's take five inch now click on modify to see the result you can see you will get like this now we need to place this connection at the middle of this beam so click on here and select this middle now click on modify to see the result you'll get like this now coming to width wise let's take edge distance to inches a number of bolts two in vertical direction and the spacing let's take four inch let's take 3.5 inch click on modify to see the result like this now click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse zero now we're going to give the same connection at here so go to application components by using the shortcut ctrl f and select this component and plate 144 and pick the main part as a column and pick the second part as a beam now close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse zero okay now we're going to create assembly drawing so click on this beam right click on mouse create drawing and assembly drawing you will get this window now click on here tick mark number all modified objects and click on here perform numbering you can see one drawing created successfully now click on space right click on mouse to review now go to drawing list by using the shortcut ctrl l now we have this drawing here assembly drawing b1 under type a indicates the assembly drawing to open this drawing double click on it after opening the drawing in the background now close this window here by default you will get like this now we're going to change the dimensions and part marks as as per our requirement so this is the total length of this drawing assembly drawings from here to here so we require this dimension so keep it and we don't require this dimension so delete select it and delete just click on delete on your keyboard now coming to here we require this part mark for this stiffener so we need to keep this and delete this dimension now we're going to create once again so coming to here we require this part mark also hold the shift and left mouse key to adjust the position of this part mark now click on this left mouse key only to adjust the part mark without moving this arrow we don't require this center line so double click on it now remove this tick mark here then click on modify apply ok now coming to here we need to give the part mark for this stiffener at here and at this location now coming to this beam part mark so select this beam right click on mouse add mark and apply now we have the beam part mark also here now coming to here we require to give this plate part mark so connection plate part mark so select it right click on mouse add mark and apply now click on it use the left mouse key to adjust the position we don't require this connection symbol so double click on this symbol you can see now we have connecting side mark here remove this tick mark then click on modify apply ok similarly we are going to give the part mark here so select this plate right click on mouse 
add mark and applied select it use the left mouse key to adjust the position and we don't require this uh, symbol so double click on it remove the tick mark then click on modify apply ok now we have the part marks for this drawing here you can see beam part mark and this is the stiffener part marks and this is a plate part mark here now coming to this stiffener should be weld to this connection plate and beam so we need to give the weld symbol here so go to annotations and select this weld mark and click on here and place it here now we have the single side weld here so similarly we need to weld this plate to this connection plate so click on here and place it now we have this two weld symbols like this we need to match this weld symbol so select this weld symbol hold the control key and select the second weld symbol right click on mouse match it you'll get like this similarly you need to weld at here and at here and at this location four locations are the same so we need to give the typical symbol here so double click on this weld symbol and in the reference text in the bracket type typ typ indicates the typical typical means the same we need to weld the same welding symbol at this location and here and here now coming to here this plate should be welded to this beam so we need to give the weld symbol so select this weld mark and pick the first position here and pick the second position at this location to create the weld symbol like this now double click on this weld symbol at this location we need to give the all round weld so we need to select click on here and select the around weld and click on modify we have the same location at this location so we can give the typical otherwise you remove this typical then click on modify apply ok you can give separately welding symbol at this location so select this weld mark and click the first point and place it here this is the around weld uh, between beam to connection plate symbol okay this is the level of this beam if you require you can keep it if you don't require then select it and click on delete now coming to the section you can section arrows you can adjust the section arrows select it and drag upward direction to adjust the position of this section arrows like this similarly coming here you can keep it like this now you can see the plate part mark is P1 and at this location also P1 and this is the B1 all the same so we have the same common section here section AA and section AA with the section AA at this location now delete these dimensions we can create these dimensions once again so delete these dimensions and delete this part mark also now this is the whole symbol whole size now delete this whole size also now coming to here we need to give the part mark so select this connection plate right click on mouse add mark and apply it now this is the plate connection plate part mark here now coming to here stiffener select this stiffener right click on mouse add mark and apply it this is the stiffener part mark now coming to bottom select this stiffener right click on mouse add mark and apply it hold shift and left mouse key to adjust the position of this part mark with the arrow now coming to this beam part mark select it right click on mouse add mark and apply it now here the beam part mark also at this location like this hold the shift and uh, you can place it at this location also now coming to this distance so this connection plate should be at the middle of this beam so we need to give the dimensions so go to dimensioning and select this horizontal distance from edge of this plate to beam middle and edge of this plate and place it here the dimension you can see now this dimension indicates this plate edge to middle of this beam and plate edge 3 3 by 4 inch 3 3 by 4 inch indicates the same so this plate should be at the middle of this beam similarly you need to give the dimensions in the vertical direction also so select this vertical distance and pick the edge dimension and pick the middle of this beam and pick the edge of this plate and press the scroll middle button to place the dimension right click mouse interrupt and click on here you can adjust the, this dimension position left or right by using the left mouse key now if you want to give the whole size then select this hole right click on mouse add mark and apply it. 
you can see now we have the whole size at this location if you want to move this drawing then you need to click on this blue border and you can move like this similarly you can move this section by using click on this blue box and you can use the left mouse key to adjust the position of this section now coming to this bill of material we have the bill of material at this location at the bottom you can see now the bill of material at this location okay that's it about how to create assembly drawing for this pin now use the shortcut ctrl s for save this drawing now close this window here that's it about how to create assembly drawing for this beam. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more tech class action related videos, please go to my channel. YouTube.com slash GaniSK. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many tech class structure related videos. I hope this video is might be helpful to you. And at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.